Is it harmless campus antics, or did some engineering students at Ryerson University go too far? Those are the questions being asked after a video surfaced showing half-naked students crawling on ice in sub-zero temperatures. Alan Carter has more on the controversial tradition that has the administration calling it a form of hazing. Is this harmless post-secondary fun or something more sinister? Ryerson engineering students in Toronto stripped down to shorts or bathing suits crawling through the ice and snow. All the while, other students shout instructions at them. At one point, a senior male student appears to slap a young woman on the behind. What's going on here? The event, set up by engineering students as a proving ground for next year's frosh leaders, was taped by Toronto writer Greg Renouf and posted online. I think it's pretty unacceptable to ask students to undress and run around. Once online, the video prompted swift reaction from engineering students who say it was voluntary and a long-standing tradition to officials from Ryerson who call it completely unacceptable. I know that the students didn't intend it to be considered hazing. Um, I, I have no reason to believe anyone was forced to do anything. I have no reason to believe anyone was injured. But when you have a group of students doing an activity like that, that most people would say is degrading or humiliating, it crosses the line into hazing. Universities in Canada have had experience with shocking hazing rituals in the past. This 21-year-old New Brunswick volleyball player died after attending an on-campus hazing party at St. Thomas University. A few years ago, McGill University canceled the remainder of its men's football season after an 18-year-old rookie came forward claiming he'd been sexually assaulted with a broomstick during rookie night. The Ryerson event is obviously tame in comparison, but still troubling for university leadership. The head of the Ryerson Engineering Student Society, which set up the event, said in a statement, During Thursday's event, several activities took place which are unacceptable, and we are sorry for that. Better practices should have been in place to prevent any such situations occurring. We showed the video to this engineering student who didn't know what had happened. It's definitely abuse. This is, to me, this seems cruel and it shouldn't be happening. Student leaders will meet with the university administration Monday afternoon to discuss how to ensure this isn't allowed to happen again. Alan Carter, Global News, Toronto.